So today I'm going to take you along for a photographic journey through the Victor Harbour region in South Australia that I did a little while back. Uh, the footage and some of the photos that they've been sitting on my hard drive for a long time and haven't seen the light of day since being shot. So this week I'm taking you into a special part of South Australia that holds some nostalgic meaning for me personally. The best thing about the life that we've created through becoming professional photographers is that I get to spend all of my days alongside my soulmate while getting creative with different types of projects all the time. Second best thing about photography life is that it's given us a ticket to travel constantly, especially over the last five or six years. And that travel took us back to our home state of South Australia. Because I've actually lived on the east coast of Australia since 1999, most don't know that I actually grew up in Adelaide, South Australia. And since 1999, I actually haven't been back there much since. So with the opportunity of some photography assignments and a photography conference, I had a chance to revisit my past in effect. The Victor Harbour region is located around one hour south of Adelaide and it was the closest place that had consistent surf. So before I had my driver's license, I'd be begging for rides down the coast every chance I could get. There weren't many surfers in my school, but the two older lads that did surf, I definitely gravitated to and would scab lifts off them uh, nearly every weekend. Finally, at 16 and a half, I got my own driver's license and I would go down there at every opportunity. Back then, I only, only had eyes for waves a one-track mind of finding the best waves I could, and I had no other agenda. So when I visited recently with a camera in hand, I had a whole new perspective on the place that I had spent so much time exploring. Places like Encounter Bay and Hindmarsh Island, which are popular tourist destinations in Victor Harbour, I never even went to back then. But now, with a photographer's perspective, these places become really interesting. And looking back, I was missing out on some really cool walking tracks and adventures by not going there. I guess this is another great thing about photography. It opens you up to more of the world. You don't just find what you're looking for, you find so much more, and that leads to a richer experience. down the steps to Knight's Beach. Favorite with the body borders because of that little wedge that just broke there. Powerful little wave. Can be fun, can be back breaking. See what we can find. There's a little bit of light happening on those rocks out there. It's just starting to kiss the rocks in the foreground. Might do a long exposure of these clouds, see if they're moving. Never really know until you get down there what we're going to do. Got the hoodie on this morning because that Easterly's pretty fresh. Yeah, all hooded up. Still a fresh breeze even though that sun has come out. Up here in Victor Harbour, just watching these beautiful crashing waves over Knight's Beach. And uh, getting a couple of shots, just enjoying myself. Being in nature, that's what it's all about. Just getting out there and enjoying nature. The shots are secondary, really. If I get a good shot to take home, well, I'm happy. Otherwise, just watching the ocean swirl around these rocks. More than good enough, really. So that's the setup I've got today. I've got the graduated filter helps balance the sky uh, to the foreground. Sky is obviously brighter today. Polarizer, the round filter on the front, polarizer 
just taking reflections off those rocks. So you get the true color coming through, you get a richer saturated color naturally, because it's just taking that glare off the rocks. Just on a Manfrotto tripod and uh, got the little motion box in there because I was shooting a little bit of video before. But yeah, it comes out really nice uh, with these two filter combinations. I tend to use that these two in conjunction a lot for landscape photography. Once the sun's come up a little bit, rarely use polarizers at sunset or sunrise, but when the sun's just coming up a bit and it's, the light's just, you know, creating reflection on rocks or trees, or anything like that, cuts the glare. I really got a nostalgic feel when I walked down the cliffs to the beaches at Parsons and Waipinga. These were my favorite surf spots back in the day and pulling on the full steamer wetsuit and taking the path down to the jump rock at these two locations had all sorts of memories flooding back. The people I used to surf with, uh, the soundtracks of the time, even the floggings and <laughs> that these surf breaks gave me. It all came flooding back and it was so good to surf these spots after 20 years of living on the east coast of Australia. I was able to take my family to the beaches and campsites where I would sleep in my car at night waiting for the morning waves as a teenager while listening to 90s grunge music. I was also able to explore places that I had never even bothered going to as a teenager. And this experience showed me that when you widen your uh, perspective uh, locations and travel take on so much more meaning. Unlike a lot of my photography, none of this was tied into an actual job. There was no agenda or client requirements. I was just walking around these cliff tops and beaches with my family exploring and taking the odd photo. And I feel it's so good as a full-time photographer to have a little three-day adventure like this where you don't really have to come up with a single photo. Just experience it and shoot it for fun. I mean, pretty much all my parade jobs are fun, but um, no expectation can really give you that extra, extra spark heading into your next paid job. We have some rough plans to visit South Australia again later this year, and hopefully we'll be able to bring you some visions from the magic coastlines further to the west of the state. And there's some gold to be found there, let me tell you. So thanks for tuning in today and We'll see you next Sunday for a new photography video. In the meantime, if you would like to keep in touch, you can of course subscribe to this YouTube channel or connect elsewhere in the description below. Thanks legends.